When I say hip hop, you say Harry. Hip hop, hip hop. When I say hip hop, you say Harry. Hip hop, hip hop. I'm hip hop Harry. We're about to enter another adventure at the hip hop center. This is the place where the fun begins, and you can't have a story without some friends. Is it you? Is it you? I need some more friends for this story. Is it you? Is it you? We'll explore new things. Come along and see. So my friends are in place. Let the story begin. Ready to learn and have fun. Well, come on in. When I say hip hop, you say Harry. Hip hop. Hip hop. When I say hip hop, you say Harry. Hip hop. Hip hop. It's on. I won. Ha <laughs> ha. Good job. Hey, hey, William! Hi! William. What's up, buddy? Is everything okay? Is something wrong? My science teacher gave me a project for tomorrow, and I don't even know where to begin. What do you have to do? I know we can work it out together. Well, I have to stand up in class and show four different ways that air is all around us. Ooh, that may be a little tough. Let's start with what we do know about air. Even though we can't see air, it's all around us. We need air to breathe and make our bodies work. But if I'm Perry, if I can't see the air, then how am I supposed to show it to my class? Maybe you can show your class all the things air can do. Yeah. Awesome. That's a great idea, Colton. Let's all help William with this project and come up with ways to show that air is everywhere. It's way up high. It's down real low. Are you guys ready to help William figure this out? Yeah! Yeah! When I say hip hop, you say Harry. Hip hop, hip hop, put this on! Hi, everyone! Hi, hey! Hey, hip hop Harry. Everyone sure looks busy this afternoon. What's up? The kids and I are trying to figure out different ways to show air is all around us. Would you like to help us? Sure. Come on. Kelly, have you come up with anything? Well, our group knows that air is all around us because we can feel it on our faces when we dance. But we can't think of any way to show it. Ooh, I have just the thing. Come with me, girls. Catch you later, Hip Hop Harry. Catch you later. I can't wait to see what you come up with. Hey, Kendra, what's up? Well, I was helping William with his homework, and then I started smelling something bad. Oh? Whoa, I smell it too. What is it? I don't know, and I don't know where it's coming from. Do you know how people are able to smell things? Well, I know that we smell with our nose. Haha, <laughs> a smell travels through the air. When the smell gets close to our nose, that's when we can smell it. It's way up high, it's down real low. I can't see it, but I know it's there. It's all around us everywhere we go. We breathe it in, it's air. The air we breathe is a useful tool. There are so many things that air can do. The air can act like a giant tray. It brings smells closer as it blows your way. From garbage to roses, smell proves it's there. The air we share is everywhere. From garbage to roses, smell proves it's there. The air we share is everywhere. to find out what is causing that terrible smell, even if it takes me all afternoon. Ha <laughs> ha, I know you'll find out what it is in no time, Kendra. Check in with you later, Hip Hop Harry. All right, ha <laughs> ha, yeah. Go, 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 go. Come on. One, <laughs> two, three, four, hey guys, did you come up with a way for William to show his class that air is all around us? We sure did. 
we came up with something that looks like magic, but it's not. That's a good thing, because I don't know if I can learn a magic trick by tomorrow. <laughs> don't worry, William. <laughs> this one will be easy to show your class. Okay. Are you guys ready? Yeah! something is falling to the ground, it pushes air out of the way so it can get to the ground. So the air being there is the reason it floats. You got it, William. Remember when Wildlife Wendy was here? She told us that when birds flap their wings, they move air under their wings to keep them up in the sky. Well, thanks, guys. It's going to be great. You're, You're welcome. welcome. This is so fun. I love science and I love to dance. Who knew you could do both at the same time? You guys have made science fun for me, too. When I say hip-hop, you say Harry hip-hop. Hip-hop, put it on! Hey, guys, what are you up to? William, we came up with something for your homework, too. Super! We came up with ways, air conditioning, music. Music? But you guys don't have any instruments. That's never stopped me before. Check this out. When you let air out of a balloon, the sides flap together and make a sound. <laughs> or when you blow into a bottle, it makes music. Wow, that's so cool. Yeah, and the air makes my flute work too. See, the air going through the holes makes a really cool sound that goes like this. It's way up high, it's down real low. I can't see it, but I know it's there. It's all around us, everywhere we go. We breathe it in, it's air. The sound when you whistle is the air as it moves. And if you can't whistle, here's something cool. It's a woodwind instrument that you can use. Toot, 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 it's called a flute. When air moves, we hear it, this proves it's there. The air we share is everywhere. When air moves, we hear it, this proves it's there. The air we share is it's way up high, it's down real low. I can't see it, but I know it's there. It's all around us, everywhere we go. We breathe it in, it's air. Oh, I get it. Air moving through things can make noise. You got it, William. Wow, thanks, guys. I'm going to have some fun things to show to my class. But I still need to think of two more. Hmm. What's up, Kendra? I've been all over the center trying to find this thing that I smell, and all of this searching has made me really hot. Is that fan keeping you cool? It sure is. Hey, this could be another thing for your class tomorrow. A fan? Sure, the fan blowing air against your skin makes you feel cool. I wish I had an even bigger fan so I could move some more air around. Do you smell that? Yeah, I do. Where's it coming from? Follow me. I think it's coming from the library area. I think you might be right. Ew! I think I found what that smell was. A rotten banana peel. Yuck. Double yuck. How long has that thing been there? I don't know. But I do know that someone did not clean up after themselves. I think that this is a really smelly reminder of why cleaning up after yourself is so important. I mean, I smelled this all the way across the room. Hey, how did he smell this from the kitchen? Hmm, that's a good question. Maybe in part bloodhound. Ruff! <laughs> <laughs> you know, I think this gives me two more things for my presentation. What do you mean? You can't smell air. But you can smell something in the air. I mean, 
air takes smells from place to place, and that's how you can smell from far away. That's true. What's the other thing for your project? Our bodies. We can't live without breathing air, right? We need air to breathe, smell things, and to help us stay cool. William, I'm really excited about your project, but I cannot stand near that stinky banana peel any longer. Hey, Hip Hop Perry, I think I have everything I need for tomorrow, thanks to everybody here. Ha <laughs> ha, that's what this place is all about. Learning new things together and helping each other in everything we do. So, can we go over it one more time with everybody? That's a great idea. Hey, everybody, let's go over all the things for William's presentation tomorrow. Yeah! It's way up high, it's down real low. I can't see it, but I know it's there. It's all around us, everywhere we go. We breathe it in, it's air. The air we breathe is a useful tool. There are so many things that air can do. The air can act like a giant tray. It brings smells closer as it blows your way. From garbage to roses, smell proves it's there. The air we share is everywhere. From garbage to roses, smell proves it's there. The air we share is everywhere. It's way up high, it's down real low. I can't see it, but I know it's there. It's all around us, everywhere we go. We breathe it in, it's air. Air reminds me of my favorite move. It's called the float, watch how I groove. Throw a scarf in the air, watch it fall like a feather. As the air moves around, the scarf starts to flutter. Even though you can't see it, this proves it's there. The air we share is everywhere. Even though you can't see it, this proves it's there. The air we share is everywhere. It's way up high, it's down real low. I can't see it, but I know it's there. It's all around us, everywhere we go. We breathe it in, it's air. The sound when you whistle is the air as it moves. And if you can't whistle, here's something cool. It's a woodwind instrument that you can use. Toot, 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 it's called a flute. When air moves, we hear it, this proves it's there. The air we share is everywhere. When air moves, we hear it, this proves it's there. The air we share is everywhere. It's way up high, it's down real low. I can't see it, but I know it's there. It's all around us, everywhere we go. We breathe it in, it's air. Learning about air is fun to do. The air we breathe also keeps us cool. It fills our lungs each and every day. So we can run and play all day. The air keeps us cool. This proves us there. The air we share is everywhere. The air keeps us cool. This proves us there. The air we share is everywhere. It's way up high. It's down real low. I can't see it, but I know it's there. It's all around us, everywhere we go. We breathe it in. It's air. This is my favorite part of the day. You kids always make me so proud. And do you know why? Yeah! Because I want to learn! <laughs> That's right! Book from the 
Whoa, today was great. We all learned a lot about air today. <laughs> William. Kelly helped me learn that air can make things float. Let's take a look. Bam! Well, when something is falling to the ground, it pushes air out of the way so it can get to the ground. So the air being there is the reason it floats. You got it, William. Remember when Wildlife Wendy was here? She told us that when birds flap their wings, they move air under their wings to keep them up in the sky. That was great! Thanks for your help, Kelly. You're welcome. All right, what else did you learn? Well, Brandon and Colton showed me that air can make music. Let's take a look. Check this out. When you let air out of a balloon, the sides flap together and make a sound. Or when you blow into a bottle, it makes music. Wow, that's so cool. Yeah, and the air makes my flute work too. See, the air going through the holes makes a really cool sound that goes like this. That was a lot of fun. Thanks, guys. Yeah, that's great, guys. Kendra also helped me learn that air takes smells from place to place. Let's take a look. Air we breathe is a useful tool. There are so many things that air can do. The air can act like a giant tray. It brings smells closer as it blows your way. From garbage to roses, smell proves it's there. The air we share is everywhere. From garbage to roses, smell proves it's there. The air we share is everywhere. It's way up high, it's down real low. I can't see it, but I know it's there. It's all around us, everywhere we go. We breathe it in, it's air. Oh, that was a lot of fun. Thanks for your help, Kendra. You're welcome. Yeah, that's great, kids. I also learned that our body needs air to breathe, and air keeps us cool. Cool, let's see. Learning about air is fun to do. The air we breathe also keeps us cool. It fills our lungs each and every day. So we can run and play all day. The air keeps us cool, this proves us there. The air we share is everywhere. The air keeps us cool, this proves us there. The air we share is everywhere. It's way up high, it's down real low. I can't see it, but I know it's there. It's all around us, everywhere we go. We breathe it in, it's air. Yeah, that was great. Thanks for helping me, everybody. I learned so much about air today. Ha <laughs> ha, now you have everything you need to show your class that air is everywhere. My class is gonna flip over this. You know, the word air starts with an A, and that's the grade I know you're gonna get. Thanks, Hip Hop Perry. Do you know what word starts with the letter E? Exercise! Ha <laughs> ha! And my favorite exercise starts with the letter D. Dancing! That's right. It's time for the... Hip Hop Perry Dance Circle! When I say dance, you say circle. Dance! Circle! Dance! Circle! <laughs> All right. But before we get started, it's important that we do what? Warm up! That's right. And I have a warm up dance for us to do. All right, okay. I want to teach y'all a warm-up dance. I created it myself. It's called Do the Harry. Let's go. Jump to the left. Jump to the right. Throw your hands up. Now put them at your side. Do the Harry. Do the Harry. Do the Harry. Do the Harry. Jump to the left. Jump to the right. Throw your hands up. Now put them at your side. Do the Harry. Do the Harry. Do the Harry. Somebody scream! Ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> All right. Now that we've warmed up, it's time for the... Hip Hop Harry Dance Circle! Yeah, that's right. Let's do it! 